Oh, I, I don't know if you're going to be in it, Joe. I, I thought while we filmed, we'd just keep all of our stuff on your lap. As long as I'm a part of it. And I don't want you telling people you were a part of it. It still sounds like fun. It won't be fun. All right, have fun. I'm late. Late? But, but I thought you and I could stay in and watch Meg get ready for her bath. All right, she's got her scented candle, her bath salts, and now the heaping plate of barely cooked ground beef. My God, she's using a lady's razor to push it into her mouth. Yep, and now to wash it all down with a cup of fresh tub water. Oh, yeah, she didn't eat a small dinner either. And now I'm joined by local obese teenager and internet sensation, Chris Griffin. Chris, when did you first know you had to hustle? Well, every street crossing for me is iffy. Well, we're glad you're here and mouth-breathing with us today. Hey, the way I go through a crosswalk, I guess I'm lucky to be anywhere. Yeah, don't, don't act like you're in on it. Eh, who cares? The internet sucks anyway. Except for Kate Upton floating around in zero gravity. Eh, I didn't care for it. Part of what's good about her boobs is knowing they're heavy. I've been meaning to ask, what's the internet? Is that like a bug? Why did we bring them to a shelter instead of an adoption agency? Oh, less paperwork. Yeah, this is for the best. I mean, I'm sure they'll be adopted. I know these is kind of unusual, but we'll take whatever we can get. I know what you mean, Peter. He's telling Bonnie the same stuff. She's even making me participate in erotic role play. Hello, ma'am. I'm the census taker here to ask you a few questions. Oh, hello. I'm the bored, horny housewife with a crippled husband. Uh-huh. Okay. What is your name? Bonnie Swanson. Bonnie, you're not supposed to give your own name. Sorry, sorry. So, um, how often do you do this sort of work? Well, as the census taker, I come once every ten years. Well, that makes one of us. Damn it, Bonnie! You're not doing it right! You aren't either! The real guy was Latino! <laughs> well, that's just like Cleveland, running off as soon as the bill arrives. Oh, he's paid off all your tabs. Well, that's just like Cleveland, always throwing money around. We now return to sassy sitcom secretary in real life. Well, according to the research company, we need to find a way to make the product appeal more to men. Too bad there's no men working here. Uh, hey Janine, come back here. Don't ever talk to your boss that way. I was, I was just trying to be funny. This is a marketing firm. We're not here to tell jokes. You're fired. <laughs> Last week, she wanted me to pretend she was the head of the company because her parents were in town. Who does that? All right, there's no pudding, but there is a supermodel, and we're making out. Lucky dog. Wait a minute. There's a kid up here. Don't hold him like that. Ladies and gentlemen, here to accept the Lifetime Achievement Academy Award, Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> I am proud to be a part of Hollywood for 50 years. I heard he raped Natalie Wood. Well, at least he died doing what he loved. Violently drowning. Oh, come on, it's not that bad. Your life could be worse. You could be a black, A bleh. Go ahead. A blanket. I'm just a stupid old blanket. What a lousy life this is. All right, you saved it. Oh, come on, it's not that bad. Your life could be worse. You could be a bald high school kid. I'm having trouble deciding what I want to do with my life. Well, let's see what your options are. You can be a doctor no one respects. You could be a lawyer no one respects. You can be an architect no one respects. Isn't there anything else? You could be the fifth or sixth guy in line at a gangbang. Oh, I'll do that. If Brian doesn't take these pills, his condition may worsen substantially. Oh man, I can't let that happen. Brian's my buddy. We're closer than the letters Q and U. Queen. Quiet. Tariq. I don't like this. He's a cold-hearted snake. Look into his eyes. Uh-oh. 
He's been telling lies. He's a lover boy at play.